Hello and welcome to ARK, the complete series. Well, I've got to admit, I'm really pleased that we've been able to start using cryopods because it's making my life a lot easier. I mean, the, the game, um, I mean, it's certainly been changed quite a lot, I'd say, because, I mean, the, this base is, well, it's starting to get empty now. There's, there's just hardly anything around because everybody's just been popped into a cryopod and then bundled into the fridge. There's, there's hardly any Rexes around at the minute. I mean, I'm now at the point where, I mean, I've got my um, my male Rex there. He's got six um, six mutations in health. We've got a male now over there. Uh, he's got one in melee. So I've got him breeding away so we can start um, getting improvements on the melee line. But uh, yeah, it means I've been able to put a load of Rexes away. All of the Megatheriums, are, they've been, they're in the fridge now. The trikes have gone. The, uh, the Baryonyxes that were around, they're all gone. Uh, the Thylacolio breeders have gone. The Sabertooth breeders, they're all gone. Pretty much everybody that's left is the ones that I'm using for, you know, for the, uh, for the kibble farm for eggs. Um, so yeah, it's, it's saving me a lot of hassle, you know, and time having to go out and get uh, food for all these lot. But they're all, you know, just nicely tucked away in the fridge and they're there if I need them again. But I mean, the real big game changer I'd say is when we, you know, when you're going into the caves. Um, I mean, it was good that they introduced them to all maps. I, I do like that. But at the time, you had to you had to get up to tech level, and now they've they've taken that restriction away, and you can pretty much get in it. Just trying to see what um, what level they are, because it's not particularly high. Yeah, level 51. So that's pretty cool. Um, you just need to go out to one of these surface loot drops and uh, make them. Because the ingredients are pretty easy to get a hold of. But uh, I think that'll be a real big game changer because it means you can be able to go into caves, for instance, with pretty much a dino of your choice. I mean, I know there is one cave that's out there. Uh, that could be a bit tricky because the, the cave walls are quite low. But with other ones, it's usually just like a restriction at the entrance, you know, to stop you taking in like big dinos. Uh, so what you used to do is you used to breed some uh, a pair of dinos together to get the baby, and then you would literally just walk that baby through the gap, and then you'd uh, you'd you know you'd just uh, mature it within the cave. But that was always restricted in the sense that you couldn't like probably get like full imprinting or something. Uh, that could be tricky at times. Um, so it's a case of like now you can you can get that dino you know that you want to take in there, get it fully imprinted, get it leveled up, and everything pop it into a cryopod, take it into the cave and off you go. So that's going to be definitely interesting. I do want to try that. But what I want to do today is I want to focus out there on the ocean. There's a big vast ocean out there that surrounds the island and uh, there are two water caves to get artifacts from. There's the one on the west is where we're going to be targeting uh, first because that's the relatively easy one but you're still up against some pretty tough dinos in our, our recall. So I, I don't want to be going in there with baryonyx because I think it's what's the jellyfish is a Nidaria, I think it's called. Uh, the one on the east, that, that's pretty, I mean, that is brutal, that one. Whenever I've gone in there, I've ended up taking several dinos in with me. But there's only one dino out there, one water-based creature out there that can pretty much just stand up to jellyfish. It doesn't care. Um, doesn't have any problems with the two swords either. Um, so it's a case of I, I want to go out and get myself some high-level uh, water creatures these ones i'm looking for get a pair of those breed those get a fully imprinted one get it um leveled up and then we'll be able to start going into the caves so the plan is this this particular water creature it's i don't know why but the on the spawn map it's you'll find up in the north down the west and down the south for whatever reason it's not on the east and might be the water temperatures i'm not sure but um because it gets really, really cold up there in the in the north, I've, I've actually ended up bringing some fur armor with me. I've got myself some scuba gear, obviously, because we're going to be spending a lot of time in the water. Uh, it's a passive tame, uh, so I've got myself some exceptional kibble. And we're going to be using our baryonics because there's no there's no particular incentive to go and get any other the any of the other water creatures to be able to do the the west cave. Um, I can just get away with using the barry uh, for that. So, because we've got cryopods, I've popped that um, into a cryopod. What we're going to do is we're going to head right up the dead island. We're going to pop uh, pop her out. Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, we'll put Rainbow away and just see what she's got on her. So you won't be needing those. So may as well put those away. Um, and then off we'll go with our barry in search of our water 
uh, dino. So I'm gonna head up there. Uh, once we get there, I'll bring you back. <laughs> Man, it's been lucky so far. Um, I went out to the northeast uh, section to have a look around. Uh, boom, the game crashed on me, so I was right in in the, the depths of the ocean, and the game crashed. And I just managed to survive. And now I've come back out, and there's a there's a bunch of uh, those blooming eels. I forgot about those. They, they they can give you grief as well. There's a rex out here. Yeah, these things give you grief. Which I don't need. Come here. They don't seem as bad as the the Nidari. Oh, yeah, that that Rex was giving me grief as well. It's like I don't need to like the fish and the uh, Rexes at the same time. I've got better things to be doing again. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye on my my own my own levels because I'm like running out of room and um, food as well. Like look at all this room like. Electricity, electricity, water, not a good idea. If I can get a bit further out, I might be able to... Oh, I managed, the last time I managed to actually stun one of these things. Because they play it in its own game. Because they have like a little bit of a pause where they don't do anything. Ah, there we go, right, so we got rid of them. Right, so they're not so bad. But yeah, I got caught out by... The, the, literally, the game crashed on me. Uh, can't remember, some, some problem with uh, the game engine. But I'm going to have to go and get myself some food. I've just realised I didn't bring any. But that beastie down there, that's what we're looking for. Um, and I can't see for the back of your head. That's what we're looking for down there. Now what level... Oh, it's a level 100! That's not too bad. That's a that's a good start. I'd rather I'd rather start with something than nothing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, Struth. What level are you? 10. Right, okay. Well, we can get rid of that. I might, I'm tempted to keep that one in my pocket because I don't know if there's anything goes after them, but um, I'm going to have to be a bit careful because I know there's an alpha megalodon around here somewhere. Uh, but at least there's two Basilosauruses that we've found so far. I haven't, I'm not going too, you know, to too great a depth because then we'll be up against the, the Pleases and the Two Swords because I know there's a Two Sword back there. Uh, there's also Moses, but I, I really need to get some food first. So, oh, there's the, the Alpha Megalodon. What level is that one? Ah, it's only level 20. Oh, interesting. The rays are going after it. Oh, I got it. What up there? What the heck happened over there? Oh, they killed the. Did they kill it? <laughs> wow, it's truth. Oh, okay. Well, I need to go and get myself some food first. I don't know. Well, there's that low level basilisk sword down there. But I really need to get myself some food. So I'm going to head back to my little base on the island, cook myself some food, and uh, then we'll set about. We'll tame that level 100. Uh, I mean, I may as well get something. It's a starter. Uh, we'll get rid of the level 10, and then we'll go and see if we can find a better one. So, I'll see you in a while. Oh wow, there's a there's a two sword down here. Uh, there's a couple of pleasies, but there's our level 100 Basilosaurus. I've, I've ended up actually going back to base because I, I I just realised I didn't have any actual cryopods with me, and that's what will make the this a lot easier. So I'm just gonna drag these mantas up out of here. Trouble is this uh, this beastie here. She, she gets like really really full really really quickly because of all the all the fish we get off these, so I'm going to have to keep dumping stuff. We don't need all that fish, dude. I keep calling her a dude. He is a she. Oh! Right, so where's our... I shall... Well, uh, just put your, put your health up. So I think that's our level 100 there. Let's see, so yeah, there's a Tuso over there. Don't keep going to don't go to a lower depth do. Right, pop that into the hot bar. Right. Tell you what. You stay on follow dude. Or do that. So that's 30%, so that's not too bad. Now, I'm gonna have to wait quite a while. Now I think there's a pleasy was just coming after me there. 
Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I just saw there's something in the background. I'm thinking, oh, there it is. It's right over there. Ah, oh, so yeah, take, it's going to take a while before it's going to ask for another bite. So I'm just going to shadow it, but it shouldn't take me too too long. Hopefully, as long as I can stay out of the way of things like that. Too so on. I'm going to please his ears. One right over there. You want another fit? I can hear things going on. This the noise in the background is like really freaking me out here. <laughs> um, nope, he's still not ready. Come here, come here. Wait, quick turn around, man. Right, where are you going? That's better. You keep heading towards the surface. Make my life easier. Keep keep making your way to the surface, dude. No, still not interested. Right. Well, I think I'm just going to keep chasing this thing around. And eventually we'll tame it up. But the good thing is I'll be able to pop it into a cryopod. And it saves me having to find somewhere to stash it while I go and hunt for better ones. So, see you shortly. Well, I've had to resort to desperate measures here. Um, it's just getting crazy because the game crashes... Uh, so what I've got is I've got a sleeping bag and I've got a like this it's a it's a mod that allows you to recover your corpse. Basically if you die, I mean I can respawn back here, uh recover my corpse and it'll bring everything back. Uh that's pretty crucial for things like um you know if I've actually got anything in a cryopod for instance. So <laughs> what I've done is I've I've come all the way down here to the southeast. Because I was up in the north northeast area and I'd be going along and yeah that was it just you know suddenly the game just locks up um, sometimes you know, what will happen is it'll time out and then a little dialogue will box, you know a box will pop up and tell you that something's crashed and then you can recover it sometimes that doesn't work and I've got to either try and kill the task sometimes that doesn't work so I've got to log out of the computer log back in again uh, it's, it's very frustrating because I've, I've never experienced this on single player uh, it's only since I've been playing on this server that I've had an issue um, Sometimes it's it's quite rare to be honest. I mean, usually what I find is I'll start the game, and then within about five or ten minutes, sometimes the game will lock up. Um, it's nothing to do with the server as such. It's a it's a known problem on the client. So I'm I'm actually surprised that I've I never actually encountered it in single player. But for whatever reason, it's it's really frustrating because I mean I'm swimming along and I'm trying to stay close to the surface because I'm trying to preserve the uh, the scuba tanks that I've got. Um, I mean, I'm burning through them pretty quickly, and um, it's a case of I, I wanted to be able to go right the way around the island. Now, what was happening is if I didn't have my scuba gear on, uh, and the game's crashed, then the problem then is that I'll have drowned, and, and then I've somehow got to find my way back uh, to these. You know, because I mean, I, originally I was carrying Rainbow in a, in a cryopod, uh, so I think this strategy might be the better one, where I'll go out with the uh, the baryonics. We'll go so far, see what we can find in that sector. Uh, if we don't find anything, I'll pick all this lot up, uh, fly somewhere else with Rainbow, and then we'll go and search somewhere else. But um, yeah, that's it's really weird. As I say, it's, it's, it seems to be more frequent. So I, I don't know whether it's because of the, you know, with, the, with it being underwater or something. I, I honestly, I don't know. But it's just not playable like that. So I'm going to try this strategy. See if it makes any difference. I mean, I'm. I want to preserve the, you know, the scuba gear as much as I can. Um, it's not so hot out here. Yeah, it's so cold out here either. Oh, hang on a minute. What's that? Oh, there's one there. That was lucky. Oh, there's one over there as well. Hello. What are you? Uh, what else? If I was looking in the right direction. Oh man! Oh, I'm crying out loud. Wow, that's a lot of blooming uh, rays. Let's get rid of these. This is the one drawback with the baryonics, though, is it, it ends up uh, it ends up getting a lot of um, fish with these. I mean, it's great if you want to actually feed uh, feed the posse, but it's uh, it's not so good while you're out there because I'll be taking out a lot of um, rays, and the next thing I know, she's full, uh, she can't move, and there's a load of like megalodons coming at me. Right, so what's that one over there? Uh, if I can see it with it. Hang on, see, it's too murky down here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! 
That's it. <laughs> I keep forgetting I've changed my strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to preserve oxygen in the scuba tanks. And I keep forgetting that I'm, uh, that I don't have my oxygen tank. Right. So let's see if I can find this thing for once. Ah, oh, no, that's not too bad. I mean, I've got a, I've got a 100 mil so far. That's the best I could find. I found like 15s and um, 25s. I even found like a pair, uh, but I was up against like level 20. Uh, like a level 20 megalodon, level 25 megalodon, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, the game crashed after that. And you don't always get the teeth either. So you got to keep jumping off to get the teeth. It, it just seemed a strange coincidence, I must admit, that it, it happened to do that while I, uh, shortly after I'd been taking on a load of megalodons and what have you. Oh, oh! <laughs> Oh man, that is just, oh, that is, oh yeah, that has just my, made my day, that has. <laughs> right, pop that on. Right, I'm going to have to clear this area, that's for certain. Oh, hang on, there's a third one down there. So hang on, that was an 80 female back there, that's a, a 150, what is this one? Oh yeah, so that, oh well, that, uh, yeah, that, that's fair. Fair dues, I mean, out of three of them, one of them just happens to be high level. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let's. We're gonna have to clear this lot out. Man, I can't believe that. Because it's it's funny when I when I went and actually um, tamed up the first one. I, I fed it once. I don't know what happened because it. Um, I went back to feed it again, but I got uh, attacked by a megalodon. Uh, went back to feed it again, and for some reason it had completely restarted. Um, it wasn't registering as a like the first feed. So hang on a minute. Which one are you? I've lost the plot. Are you the 150? Yeah, you're the 150, so you're the one we want. I just want to make sure there's nothing... Oh, hang on, there's one down there as well. Oh, 40 mil, so it's not better than the 100. But no, it was really weird. I, I, I had to sort of, like, I was, like, shadowing this original, um, Basilosaurus, but the problem was it, um, I got badgered by a megalodon, so I went to clear that one, came back, and the... For some strange reason, it just didn't register that I'd, I'd fed it, and I mean, it's still on 100% like taming effectiveness. So I don't know what happened there, because normally if you don't feed them, you've got like a certain amount of time to feed them, I think. And if you don't feed them, then the, um, the taming effectiveness goes down. So instead of costing me like 40, um, four uh, kibble, it cost me five, because I fed it again and it was fine after that. So it took ages, like I must admit, it took absolutely ages to. To get the first feed, it was okay after that. After the second one, it was fine. But yeah, what you'll what will probably have you see, he's getting, she's getting full already. And if, if anything starts coming attacking me, it ends up as like just like crazy. Right, I've got tons and tons of megalodon teeth. I don't need any more. Right, we'll drop the rest. You can have all this back then. Right, so hopefully this uh, this one won't go too far because I was I think I was quite lucky once I cleared that original megalodon out I was fine the only problem I had was uh, there was um, you can see I mean my stamina for instance is going down what I found is if I if I get back off and back on again it seems to reset it which is good uh, starting to starve so every so often I'd go up to the surface I was I was starting to panic I must admit because I mean with the um, with my stamina being so low I honestly, thought, I honestly thought I'd end up drowning or something. Let's see if I get off. And if we get back on you. Oh, it didn't work that time. Let me go back up to the surface. Cause that's, oh, there you go. Yes, that's weird. That I don't know why, it, why that happens. So anyway, where's our... Right, there's our Basilosaurus. Right, so... 21%. So you're going to need... We've got plenty to feed. Oh! Oh! Struth! Oh, I didn't put her on follow. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was lucky. <laughs> I forgot to put her on follow. Oh, strength that could have been so, so bad. Now, where's the... Oh, blimey, where's the bustle source gone? It's over there. Right, that's all right. For you, because that was the other problem. I got so busy tied up with Megalodons at the last place that I've, I completely kept losing track of the Basilosaurus. Right, so let's get rid of these. That's one thing I love about these these Basilis, uh, these Baryonyx. I mean, I was up against like Megalodons, Alpha Megalodons, 
No, no problem. It was just a time. That, that's the worst part. It was the time it took. And that was just because I was... Um, oh man, you're still stuffed full, are you? Yeah, it just took a long time to sort of like... Uh, to take them out, but... Yeah, I mean, eventually got there because it's just a matter of just keep stunning them. Right, so you're on follow. Right. Right, so I'm going to have to keep... The trouble is if I stay out in the water myself. Uh, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. If I stay out in the water myself, my stamina's going to go down. So we'll just keep shadowing this uh, this Basilosaurus. Hopefully we won't get any any more nasties in the area. Then we'll get that one tamed up. The one thing I found was, I mean, you get tons and tons of oil off these mines, which is really, really useful. It weighs, weighs a lot, obviously, that's its downside, but, um, yeah, if you need oil, Dodd will get it from these. Right, for whatever reason, she's going, to lower he, uh, she's going down to lower depths. Come on, get back up to the surface, will you? Right, I'm just going to keep following this lady around, and then eventually, hopefully, we'll get her tamed. See you in a while. Aha, so finally got that, uh, got this one tamed up. I don't know why they suddenly like run off somewhere else, like up Look, stay still, will you? I was actually quite lucky because there was a, there was a ray just came in from shoreline and it, uh, oh man, seriously man, stay still, will you? Look, you, tell you what, you stay still. Yeah, there was a ray came in and it was literally practically right inside the blooming Basilosaurus. So of course, I'm trying to get close enough to feed the this Basilosaurus without actually getting um, killed by the ray. Uh, eventually, it's like it actually came out and started attacking me, so I managed to drive it off. But uh, I was a bit panicky there for a minute because I, I honestly thought uh, when I'd uh, get in the baryonyx to, to attack the ray, because I'd put her on passive once I realised we were too close, and I thought we'd actually hit that. Um, Basilosaurus, but we haven't, so we're getting a getting a full tame. So that was that went pretty well. I must admit, a lot better than I than I expected. So I haven't had to use the actual graveyard this time, uh, so that's good. But I, I thought I'd use, you know put it out there just as a you know, like a possibility, just in case something went horribly wrong. So I mean, over on this island, there's no there's no like carnivores or anything, so it's relatively safe over here. Right. So let's see. So we've now got a level. Got level 150. Uh, 150. So she's fully tamed up. Uh, got a level 100 male. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to wait around here for the morning so I can actually see what I'm doing. Because um, I'm not using that HL, HLNA. I've, I've noticed actually it loses. These things lose their colours. Uh, which sucks. I'm going to pop that on. Yeah, she's lost her colours, so when you when you die, all you do is you get a skin back, but the skin doesn't have the um, the original colours as a result, so it means, you know, whenever you die and respawn, you've got to then uh, repaint it again, which is a bit of a shame. But, yeah, I'm just going to wait for the for the morning, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look around, and I'm going to see if I can find an, anything better than a 100 male. I didn't see anything in this little area, so I think what I might do is I might pick up all our gear, move a bit further west um, and just see if we can find something just slightly better because I don't know what levels she's got uh, hopefully we can find something that's got better levels than her so see you in a while hmm that's a bit unlucky I'm still over in the like the southeast corner actually so I thought I'd like do a bit of a, a tour around and there's a there's a 130 female out there so it wouldn't have been too bad. I mean, obviously a 150 is... Well, I'm assuming a 150 is better. I mean, I suppose I could tame that one up and we can have a look and see what it, what her stats are like. Because ultimately I just need one dino that's got uh, really good stats. It doesn't really matter because then I can get a... I can still use that 100 male to... Um, to breed with. Ugh. Eels. Hmm. So there's a plesio over there. Uh, another one over there. Oh man! Right, I think I'll. I think I tell you what. I think I'll. I think I'll clear this load out. Uh, see if I can. Right, clear these ones. Uh, 
I've just got to be careful because the fact that I'm running out of I'm running out of scuba tanks, I might have to go back to base and uh, get these ones repaired. Because I brought four over. Oh, oh, pleasey! Oh no, 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 no! We don't want the pleasiosaurs going after us. As far as I'm aware, they don't like uh, they don't like the depths. Uh, they don't like the shallows, I should say. Right, so let's see if we can sort these annoying rays out. Because we get tons of, we, we actually get tons of uh, fish meat off them, I must admit. So they've been great for that, but uh, at the moment they're a pain in the neck because the fact that I'm, her bags are getting full. Stay out of the way of the Basilosaurus, will you? Right, we'll dump the rest. It's funny, I've been taking some out and sometimes I don't get any of these, uh, the blubber from these things, which is a bit, uh, a bit strange. Because usually the Basilosaurus collects it. But uh, no, it doesn't seem to work all of the time. Oh, what was that? Oh, 20 odd percent. I thought, blimey, I thought it was like 50 odd percent. I thought, blimey, that's impressive. Right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll tame this one up. Uh, follow it around, tame it up. Then we'll see what her stats are like. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them over. I've got like a little um, a pen. It probably can't really see it well, but it's, it's over where the red beacon is. Uh, that's where I was going to get the... I thought there was something there. That's where I was going over with the... Um, uh, with Hetty to get, uh, you know, a lot of fish so we could get uh, the Hesperonis eggs. You know, she'll lay golden eggs. That's a thought. Uh, oh, I can't tell while I'm on the on the barry. But, um, yeah, I've just, like, fenced it off. Put a couple of gates either side to, so I could use it as a bit of a pen. But uh, we'll pop all these two, uh, all these things. Just keep putting them into cryopods and take them back there. Well, I watch that one because I've taken a fifty-five out. Oh, you're a twenty-five. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I'll get on with taming this one up, and I'll bring you back. Oh wow, that was lucky. The game crashed again. Uh, fortunately, I had my scuba gear on. So I managed to survive. It took me like two attempts to like reconnect. It, it even locked up while I was uh, trying to connect on the first attempt. Uh, fortunately, this thing hasn't lost any taming effectiveness, but I'm, it looks like I'm heading towards only one scuba tank. So uh, yeah, I've only got one spare left after this one. So I'll just have to see if it survives. For, fortunately, uh, little Lottie there, he was on follow, so he followed me straight down as soon as I... I respawned, but yeah, that, that could have gone so bad. Right, so that was the second feed. Uh, so I'll just keep shutting it again. See you in a while. Well, we finally managed to make it over to the Red Beacon after another game crash. Um, th this time I was actually on Rainbow. We we're flying. We we're about like halfway down, and the game just suddenly just blacked out, and that was it. It just it just lost interest, so uh, yeah, that was a bit frustrating. I mean, normally I'll get like sometimes I'll get like one game crash, and then it'll be fine after that for for quite a while. But today I had I just had just lots and lots of these uh, game crashes for uh, whatever reason. But uh, now I've got these Nidaria, I think they're called, or Nidaria jellyfish, basically. Let's see if I can get rid of these. Oh, that was okay. I was in gold level once. That's fine. I mean, the good thing is we'll get some biotoxin out of them. But I'm quite keen to see what the comparisons are between these... Um, the 150 and the 130. See if it's... Uh, if there's any, you know, there's any benefit in getting that 130. I'll have to be a bit careful because I have had... Oh, sorry. Sorry. I have had like megalodons down here at times. <laughs> that's unusual. Usually, they'll usually come after me. Right, so that's you finished. Right, there's one over there. Why am I really losing this shot? Seventy-three. That's not bad. Like, I mean, what? Well, that's a ma it's a journeyman one, I think it is. No, it's not. It's a Mastercraft uh, bow that we've got. Crossbow, I should say. Yeah, I mean, they're relatively slow, to be honest. 
They're not that bad, it's just they're annoying. If they catch you unaware, you're a real pain. Right, we may as well take advantage of the biotoxin. Because that'll come in really handy. Right, come on, let's mop these up. Hopefully once we get the uh, the Basilosaurus Basil in here, we should start to see yeah, any spawns in here stop. Because I thought when I, once I put those gates up, I thought they would uh, that would stop the spawns, but it didn't. So it's 53 from that one. 58 from that one. Okay, cool. Right, so we'll pop our Basilosaurus out. Have a quick check and see, yeah, uh, see what the levels they've got. Right, so that one there. Pop you out over here. Oh, right, I forgot cryo sickness. So right, we're gonna have to. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I'm assuming you can't drown. Yeah, you can't drown, so technically it doesn't matter. Well. I think what I'll do is, seeing as one's unconscious, I mean, I may as well just pop the rest out now. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. Right, you're going to suffer the same results. Sorry. So that'll be the male. Man, that's seriously awkward. Right, so you're, you must be the 130. Uh, tell you what, let's pop this, uh, let's pop this on before I drown. Right, so you've got 13920. Because you're a 224, so 13920. So slightly better. Right, okay, so your stamina's 1230 versus. Well, you've got a better stamina, so. Right, okay. Uh, melee is 355. This is eerie listening to these. Ah, so there you go, that's paid off. Uh, that one's got better melee as well. Right, so actually, so this is the male. Now the male, eh, there's nothing to gain from the male really, but basically what I can do is I can breed him with, with her until we get all of the good stats from her. Then we breed uh, whatever male we get out of that with her to get her better melee, uh, better health I should say. So that should be cool, that should be cool. So I'm gonna have to wait for these to um, uh, to basically wake up because it, yeah, it's gonna take a while. Not that long. I think I think you've got to wait for the actual. I think the un the the unconsciousness goes away, but it's more the cry or sickness takes longer. They can't drown, so it's not a not a big deal. The other good thing about these is they'll produce um, they produce oil for you as well. See, they're just slowly building up like their own organic version of the oil. So we're just going to wait for these. I think I might have a look. I'm, I'm tempted to chance it and see if I can find a, another better one out there. But the trouble is, it's with a game crash and it's kind of putting me off. <laughs> um, yeah, go on. We'll have a quick look and see if we can find any. Right, see you in a while. Well, I managed to find this one here. I can't remember if it was either a, a 130 or a 135. Um, I'm quite impressed, actually. The game didn't crash this time, so I did manage to actually uh, get out there and tame her up. Um, but no, nah, she doesn't have any anything really to offer, to be honest. Uh, the way it's looking at, then, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to go back out there because I think I might have been just lucky. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this male here. We're going to breed him with her, and then we'll get her stamina and her, her melee levels. That'll give us a male, eventually, to then breed with this one here, because she's got the better health. And then that'll give us a breeding pair, and then we'll start uh, breeding up ourselves some decent Basilosauruses. And um, the plan then is we're going to be able to go out and uh, go and take on the actual cave that's over in the west. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because that will help me out a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content like this, then yeah, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, because then you get notifications when I send new content out. And if you've got any comments, any suggestions, want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comments section below. 
Till the next episode, thanks so much for watching. Bye!